I got a pretty neat little MIG welder in the mail. A company called Truzy sent me this Rylon 135 MIG welder. There's a few unique things about this welder I like. Number one, it's 110 volts. Number two, it's flux core only. This does not use gas, and I'm always welding outside, so I do a lot of flux core welding, so this is perfect for me. Another interesting thing is, on the front here, we only have one dial. So we only have one setting that we have to set according to the thickness or the gauge of the metal that we are welding. It makes it very easy, especially for a beginner, to just turn one dial and the processor inside automatically sets the weld speed, uh, the wire speed for that amperage. Inside here, we can open up, and this is our drive unit and where we actually put our MIG wire. On this, I've got a small spool of 030 uh, flux core wire. They've got a little pin here to kind of hold it in so it doesn't keep much pressure on the spool because flux core wire likes to straighten itself out. And it hasn't really been a problem. Yeah, see, it tries to spin on its own. So it hasn't been a problem yet. I've got some weld time on this. And I was actually pretty impressed at how well it actually welds. That's why I wanted to share this with you. So it could be an option for a beginner or someone who just needs to put this like in the back of your Jeep or side by side or whatever, just to have a, um, a little welder to do field repairs in the, uh, you know, outside. We don't have to worry about wind and stuff blowing because it is flux core. So I've got a piece of metal here and I've just cut a few coupons out and we're just going to run some welds with it and show you what it looks like. Now this is about eighth inch thick steel, which is pretty heavy for a small welder like this, but if it'll do this, it'll do all kinds of stuff, you know, exhaust, uh, fender, sheet metal repair, uh, fence post, you know, pipe. Um, but it actually does a pretty impressive job. So let's get, um, let's get our gear on, run a few beads, and we'll take a look at how well it actually does weld. This is what it looks like before we clean it up. Let's go ahead and take a wire brush to it and uh, see what that weld actually looks like once we get that flux off there. It's actually a pretty good looking weld. It, it did penetrate. You can feel your welder when it's actually penetrating. And this penetrated really good around 90 amps. You can see there is some splatter that kind of stuck that did not come off with the wire wheel. And that's kind of typical for a flux core welder. Now we've kind of got a different weld here. It's almost like a more of a um, fillet weld that we can kind of put down in this groove. So let's get that filled up and see what it uh, see what it looks like. This is about a four inch piece of steel. We're running at 90 amps. Now this welder, this welder is about 30% efficient at 90 amps. So you can see I run that four inch bead pretty hot and it had no problems doing that. It's internally cooled. It's got an internal fan on it and you'll hear that fan run and shut off automatically uh, due to the temperature of the machine. The welder was kind of jumping around a little bit because I had the lead kind of in a bind so I could feel, feel the wire kind of jumping. I also had a piece of slag on my tip that kind of held that, um, that was kind of bouncing the wire around. 
But that's what it looks like before we cleaned it up. Let's get, let's get it cleaned up and see what it looks like. Now down here is where I kind of cut my coupons out with a, um, with a plasma cutter. But the weld itself turned out pretty decent uh, as much as it was jumping around. So that was kind of my fault. I think we could actually do better. I'll do another one real quick and see if it looks better. Because if you look at this side, that side actually turned out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this dial all the way up. We're over 100 amps now. Let's see what it feels like. Before I do this weld, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a new tip because I still feel it kind of dragging a little bit in the tip. And um, I wanna give this the fairest shot possible. This is like the Tweco Lincoln style tips. I have not changed one, so this is the original tip. And that was one thing about the, um, the kit is it only came with one tip. So I had to, uh, most of my stuff is Miller Hobart. So I had to um, order some new tips. And I just get these on Amazon too, like a box of 50 or 100 at a time. Flux core will go through tips a lot quicker than a, uh, a gas welder would. So keep that in mind. So always keep spare tips on you. Okay, wow, that was turned all the way up. That's maximum amperage. You can see we actually got a pretty good weld in there. And the fan kicked on about halfway through, but it had no problem completing that four inch weld. Let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit and see what it looks like. So that burned in pretty good. I think it looks better in person than it does on camera. Um, it, it definitely got full penetration. You know, that's just slag from, as you can see, that's like eighth inch steel here on a little I-beam. That's where I cut the coupons out of. So actually, you can see that it, it I had it turned all the way up, weld and hot, and it did pretty good. I'm surprised it didn't cut off on itself, um, being only a 30% duty cycle there. But um, I think for a welder, an inverter style MIG welder that only weighs 12 pounds, it's a very capable little welder. It feels um, a little cheaply built for sure, you know, like the ground clamp and all, but it's, it all functions. It, it works as it should. And I'm actually pretty impressed at how well it does weld. So if this is something that maybe you're interested in, check out the link I'm gonna put in the description below. And Truzy um, is the company who's selling this Rylon. Rylon's been around for like 17 years. So they do have a lot of quality stuff, not just this 135, but they've got other welders too. So check them out. But I think for a beginner or, you know, someone maybe looking to buy, you know, their friend, their son, a husband, someone who's just looking to learn to weld, this is gonna be the easiest possible way to learn how to weld. Not only learn how to weld, but actually do repairs with it, whether you're working on your car, muffler, exhaust, uh, body panels or fencing, anything around the house that would need welding, I think this is gonna be a pretty good welder for that. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and keep welding and practice with this thing, see if we can clean those welds up, make them look a little better. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.